Hey guys and welcome to the first video on this channel. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry about that stain there, right? My backdrop, right? It said ironable on eBay. So I went to iron it to get the creases out and it burnt my iron and it burnt the sheet. So now we've got an iron sheet and a mucky iron, which I'll have to clean later so I don't get done. <laughs> but today we are going to be doing a Q&A whilst I show you how I created this neon look, which was really simple and easy to do. So let's get right into it. So to start off, I'm just going to take Morphe M158 brush and my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Gel. And I'm going to take literally, you only need the tiniest bit, you don't need a lot because a little goes a long way in this sense. But I'm just going to tinily dip into that and I'm going to gently just outline a line underneath my brow of how I want my shape to go. And because this look is quite a winged up look, I'm doing my eyebrow a bit more to the right instead of going down today. So it kind of pulls my face up a bit more because you don't want your face to droop. And I'm literally, I'm just going to blend it all in. So all that product is blended in there, makes my brow look a little more thick. So the first question from today's Q&A is, do you find makeup as a career in your future? Very hopefully, yes. It is such something I'm so passionate about. And I just really, really want to give a lot of time for it because I care about it so much. And I'd love to make it a career path I'd have molded, whether it be an MUA, an influencer, or I'd love to own my own salons. Imagine having my own salon chain, how cool that would be. Oh, I'd love it. So I'm just taking my concealer and I'm just dipping a that tiny bit of this onto the side of my hand like that. Because you don't need much, it's eyebrows. And I'm just going to take my little flat head concealer brush that I use for my eyebrows. And I'm just going to underline my eyebrow. I keep on saying eyebrow, I'm sorry. I'm just going to underline the hairs on my, above my eye. Very gently. Just into the shape you want and then you can go over it and do it as deep and nice and slick as you want it to be. All right, so I've just done my eyebrow and I've concealed my eyelid. I've literally, I've just done the full look, but it turned out terribly wrong. So I've wiped it all off and we're gonna do it again because we don't give up. Never give up if you do it wrong. So I'm just dipping into the shade Lights Out from the Cece Marie palette using my Morphe fluffy brush. And we're just gonna pack that in the crease and make a little wing type of thing, connect it back to the eye. So the first question we was asked is, when did you get into makeup and what was your first look? Well, that was my first look. Terrible, I know, I know, don't judge me. But I was only a noob at the time. And um, I got into makeup January time this year because I've always been interested in makeup, but I never did anything about it. I, like, I watched James Charles all the time. And I just thought, you know what? I'm going to try this because I really want to do it. So I went out and I bought all my stuff and then... After Christmas Day, when I got it all, I literally have just practiced non-stop since, and here we are now. <laughs> so I'm just taking a clean Morphe M167 brush and dipping into the shade Wasted from the XR Carnival palette and patting this right above the corner, inner corner of the black eyeshadow. Then taking the exact same brush, I'm just going to dip into straight the height, which is from the exact same palette, and I'm going to do the same motions and just line this above the black and bring it around the angle corner. So once the mask have the pat on, you should literally just have something like this. This is when we're going to take our two fluffy brushes, which is one for light green and one for light pink. And I'm going to dip into the shade Ecstasy from the exact same palette, which is the bright green shade. And I'm just going to blend this in to the top of that dark green eyeshadow. And then I'm going to take my other fluffy brush and I'm going to dip into the shade Pep Talk and blend out this purple.
grabbing a winged liner brush and I'm taking some white concealer which I'm using Jeffree Star's light you shade out of his whole entire collection because it was an offer on Beauty Bay so I thought alright I'll snatch you up and I'm just going to dip into this and I'm really gently just going to try and go over the lines where it's not been blended right if you know what I mean that's how I followed the guidelines yesterday. Hey guys, I'm on the voiceover and I did not even realise when I was recording this that my face wasn't hardly in frame for half of it so you don't see me literally draw anything except for like a tiny little bit where I go round and yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry so I'm just going to speed this bit up but you'll see the exact result that you should have at the end. So, I've just finished this eye, this is like a kind of like guideline of what you should have and I'm just going to do the other eye off camera and put some lashes and mascara on. So I'll see you in a minute. Right, so both eyes are done, I've got lashes on both of them and I'm just going to prime my face just because we need to make sure that we're getting no more crushes in my skin because I've literally I've got enough on me already. Oh. I'm taking my Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation, I'm just placing this all over my face literally everywhere but the next question that we got asked was did i enter into instant influencer and the answer is no when he announced the show i don't even think i was doing makeup at the time so if i wanted to go in i couldn't have even entered because like i didn't know anything about makeup like how to do it and as soon as i started i wasn't good <laughs> so it was a good job i did not enter but no I would like to enter if you ever came to the UK, but I don't know if competitions are my type of thing, if you know what I mean. Next question is, what is my favourite ever makeup look? Oof, that's created either by me or someone else. And this could literally be so many because I've got so many favourite looks. Like, I really like uh, the rainbow eye, the rib drippy name rainbow eye. I don't know who the original creator of that is, but I am so jealous because it is so nice. And so good and fresh. So I'm going to try that, I think. And I'm going to attempt to doing that. But, yeah, I think, I literally, I think that'd have to be my favourite of the makeup look. Because I just think it's brilliant. So I've done my contour and bronzer. And I'm just letting my face currently bake as I answer some more questions. So the next question we've got is, how did you become so confident? And, well, I wouldn't really say I was necessarily confident as much. Because of the camera, you can be more forward in yourself. Whereas when you're outside in public and I'm wearing makeup or going out, I feel really uncomfortable because I'm not necessarily in a place where I know I could be safe or I know that I'm going to be all right. I'm not going to get looked at weirdly, if you know what I mean, in that sense. But I feel like you just, to build it to be confident, you've got to learn to love yourself more. So like, I know that sounds so egotistical, <laughs> but uh, you've got to like learn how to accept yourself, love yourself, find bits of yourself that you know are good and confident. And the more you embrace the stuff that you like about yourself, the more confident you will find yourself feeling over a while, which I noticed because I used to hate myself. But as soon as I started finding little bits, I started getting more happy with how I looked, how I was coming out. It made me feel so much more confident and talking to people about how you feel as well will build you up so much. And I could not recommend anything else more than I can doing that. So I'm just wiping my bake off. And we are going to do my under eyes. We are going to pop a little gloss on and we're going to do some highlight because, oh my gosh, I love to be so shiny. There's literally, is there anything better than just being shiny? No, don't be stupid. Of course there is not. <laughs> I've just grabbed the Jeffree Star Platinum Eyes palette and I'm going to dip into the shade Alien Eyes and Pink Chill, which are a pink tone and a green tone highlight, which I literally think are perfect for this look. And I'm just going to... Push that against the skin. And then we've just got that like nice little shine. I love having it on my cheekbones. It's literally my favorite place. And then I just grab the nice little ice cold color and I just put that at the top of my nose and on the tip because it's so cute. I put it on a bit of my cupid's bow and yeah, that is literally all I do for eye light. Nice and shiny. 
because I love to be shiny. And then we're going to move on to the under eyes next, so let's do them. Going back in with the Stacey Marie palette, I'm just going to get my exact same brush, dip into that purple shade, and I'm going to place the purple shade where the green comes in. And I'm just going to blend that right in there. Then with the exact same brush, I'm going to dip into the dark green shade, and I'm going to place that right next to that purple, making sure we can get as much pigment as possible. And then with the fluffy brushes that we use to blend them out, we're just going to blend the exact same thing underneath the eye. So I've just taken a baby wipe and I've just wiped off all the foundation and horrible stuff that are around her lips, blended out the under eyes, and I'm going to take my Clear Revolution Lip Pumping Gloss and we're just going to put that straight onto the lips because I just want a natural, glossy look today. That is the makeup look done today, guys. Thank you for watching. Please leave constructive criticism in the comments because I know this video is going to be nowhere near perfect. And I want the best help I can get so you, as viewers, get the best experience watching my videos as you can because you're the ones watching the video, so I want to make it good for you. But I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye.